Hello and welcome to MTD CNC India. Today we are here at Sandvik Koromon stall at Imtex and I am here with Mr. Sunil Joshi who is the President Sandvik Koromon India. Thank you so much for your time sir. Thank you very much. So we would Thank you so much. We would love to know about how Sandvik Koromon India is doing because now India is booming as a manufacturing you know, uh, sector and how Sandvik Koromon is you know, giving a significant contribution to Indian manufacturing sector. Would you like to elaborate on that? Great, uh, thank you very much and uh, I would like to mention that uh, uh, Sandvik Koromon in India we have done a pretty big sales transformation since, uh, since the past four years and we have been consistently growing double digit in, in an Indian market. Last year also has been a significant year for us and, and uh, we have had extremely good growth which was driven mainly by all the industry segments be it automotive, general engineering, oil and gas and aerospace as well. Fantastic. So And uh, just to add to it, uh, to it because uh, we are also seeing uh, the opportunity in India and uh, Sandvik Koromant is also in increasing the investment and the footprint of increasing the capacities for our production in, in Pune as well. These are the golden words when every, 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 any company says we are expanding our you know, production capacity. It means that business is growing. So in, mostly new sectors are coming in India now like phone, uh, aerospace manufacturing, mobile phone manufacturing, defense is booming right now. So what are the key sectors which you are focusing on for the future growth? Yeah, great question and uh, we would also mention over here that uh, the growth forecast for India in terms of the GDP uh, from here on till 2030 is around 6 to 7 percent CAGR. And if you look into the biggest segments which are going to grow is one is going to the, uh, be aerospace. Uh, which is uh, I would say forecasted to grow around 10 to 12 percent, uh, followed by I would say general engineering, and it will be driven by a lot of infrastructure development projects. Then we have very I would say interesting uh, seg segment which is about defence and railways. Yes. Where uh, there is a lot of initiative from the government to also I would say renew all the railway lines and also to come up with new, new railways. I would say bogies. So railways is another interesting business for us. At the same time, we have also seen that automotive is pretty big in India as of yes. now. It is the biggest in terms of potential what we handle and that is also supposed to grow at around a moderate pace of around 4 to 5 percent. So even though we are not uh, into EV but still the IC engine will uh, is forecast to grow around 4 to 5 percent. So we have exciting days in India and I would mention over here that it is this is a never before opportunity because we have the macros which are so conducive. You look at each and every macro, you look at inflation, you look at uh, the, the banking system, the current account deficit and, and you look at the, I would say, global scenario in what are the macros in terms of de-globalization, then we have demographics, decarbonization and digitalization. And all these four are the, the, I would say, macros moving forward. So, we are going to be actually benefiting from all the four macros. Absolutely. Four, I would say, uh, enablers which are going to be there. I totally agree with you. When Earlier we used to talk about, you know, Indian uh, manufacturing sectors. We used to say, these are business cycle, one sector is down, one sector is up. But right now, all engines are on fire. All the sectors are booming. Aerospace is there, general engineering is booming. So, it's a big, big, massive opportunity for Absolutely you. Absolutely right. But now you are, as a big group, you are focusing on sustainability. So, development with, you know, uh, taking care of environment as well. Would you like to tell us some initiative which your company is taking care towards sustainability? Sure. I'll just start from uh, our new brand promise, which is known as Manufacturing Wellness. And what we mean by Manufacturing Wellness is that I would say we are helping customers to, I would say, adapt to eight new healthy habits, which will make their business much more thriving and sustainable. And what when we are talking about these eight, eight habits, one of the habits is talking about sustainability. And in sustainability, we are also speaking about how can we be a circular economy in the next few years. And at Sandwich, we have already signed the SBTI uh, Science Based Targets Initiative, wherein we are supposed to be, I would say, 100% circular by 2030. What does it mean? It means that by 2030, all my new carbide inserts that I manufacture should come from recycled carbide. Today, we are at around 45% levels. And for that, we also have a buyback program, wherein we buy back carbide inserts, drills, and mills of any make. Uh, we have a recycling plant in Chiplun, which is in Maharashtra, and we recycle the carbide inserts. We extract the tungsten metal and we reuse it for making the new carbide inserts. That is one initiative. The other initiative is we also have a sustainability analysis tool. It is called a Suzan. So when, when we are doing any demonstration with the customers, 
uh, we can also show them how much of power consumption they can really reduce by using sandwich Corman tools and how much does it translate into CO2 footprint reduction. So these are two specific initiatives that we are doing when it comes to sustainability. At the same time, we talk about data uh, driven business and also we talk about eliminating waste. So these two things really go, go hand in hand. These are also part of our uh, eight habits under manufacturing wellness. And we have a reconditioning facility in, in Pune. Uh, of course, when we recondition and see, uh, recondition the tools. And at the same time, we are also working with digital. And uh, a part of it is also taking a holistic perspective. It means that we are not only, we would not only be like to be present in the ma machining part of the value chain of the customer, but we would like to be involved in the entire value chain of designing of a component, process planning, operations planning, and for that we have made a few acquisitions. With the help of softwares, their process can become more and more efficient, and they can be more sustainable, and they can utilize their existing investment in the best possible way. Wow. <laughs> Taking so many initiatives, so many work is being done on sustainability. At the same time, I would also mention that the new carbide grades that we are bringing, these are also with, I would say, extremely high-tech uh, coating techniques. So our new carbide insert grades are performing much better and they are giving, I would say, 20 to 30 percent higher tool life than the existing ones. So that also is contributing to sustainability because they are, customers are able to utilize or make the most from the uh, tools that they are using. So this is like, you know, uh, it's a twin benefit. It affects the profitability of the customer and also it is environment friendly. Yeah, at the same time it is reducing our own consumption on our business. So we can go with a few more applications as well. Fantastic. So sir, uh, Sandvik Coromont is known for giving back to the society and you are involved in a lot of CSR activities, you know, helping a young generation to, you know, uh, skill them themselves up skill themselves so what kind of initiative your company is taking to you know uh, up upskill the, the indian youth yeah and that's a very important question uh, to answer because if you look into the uh, how the world is also changing one of the one of the challenges the world is having today is about uh, their the skill set because uh, it's the the industry is is struggling with actually hiring the right skill sets in the in, in the in their companies and uh, what we do is, uh, one part of it is, as under our CSR initiative, uh, we are running a course with the ITI in Aung. So wherein the entire course is run by us. We also have our partners uh, with whom we can run the entire course. There are close to 350 graduates coming out of that ITI school. Uh, and the curriculum is also decided by us with our partner Skillsonics. Uh, we have also started giving them, uh, I would say, soft skill training. Our, uh, I would say, technical experts are also involved with them to provide them the technical training as well. And we are also inspiring the industry leaders to also visit them and also be a part of their, I would say, campus selection as well. This is one thing. At the same time, we have the Coroman Center in Pune. Uh, we conduct a lot of advanced training programs for our customers. At the same time, our yellow codes that you see over here, they also visit customers and they impart in-house training programs for the manufacturing segment at all levels. So this is what we are doing for the skill set development in the manufacturing industry. That's that's really good and hats off to you for doing all this for you know society. Uh, so company business is not only for making profit, it's also about taking care of environment and uh, you know taking care of the society, giving back to the society overall. And you are you know checking all the uh, points right and uh, wish you all the best. I think. Uh, you have a really bright future in India as well. Thank you very much. Thank you Thanks so much. much. Thank you so you. much. Thank you so Thank much. You.